During the week, we want dinner in the table under 30 minutes. So my next recipe is a cheats lamb biryani. It's very simple, so let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is slice up an onion. All right, I find the best way to slice an onion is to cut it in half, give yourself a flat surface, and just leave the little root end on. So you've got something to hang on to. Make sure you've got 10 fingers at the end of the recipe. All right, just finely slice the onion into our hot pan. That's what we want, a bit of a sizzle. Salt's gonna help keep that pan nice and dry and encourage those onions to get a bit of color on them. All right, got some beautiful golden color on the onions, which is what you want. It's a base flavor for most Indian recipes. Got about a tablespoon of ginger. Gonna add a nice warmth to our biryani and a couple of cloves of garlic. Get rid of the skin. All right, our garlic can go in. Don't wanna add that too early. It might burn if you put it in with the onions. So that's why we leave it till now. All right, straight away, you can smell it. Now a traditional biryani would be used with a slow cooking cut of lamb. So say shoulder or a leg. For midweek cooking where you need things on the table fast, mince is gonna be your best friend. So 500 grams of lamb mince. All right, you just wanna break up the lamb mince with a spoon. This will take four or five minutes until it's nice and golden and brown. All right, that's a bit of an arm workout. Squashing all that mince down. It's all brown now. So we can go in with our snack pots. All right, so these snack pots need rehydrating. So we're gonna go in with some chicken stock. Chicken stock's just a little bit lighter than beef stock but you could use beef stock if you wanted to in this recipe. We'll start with about a cup of stock. I'll let that soak in and we can add some more if need be. All right, that's taken five or six minutes. You can see that rice has slurped up all of that sort of stock and it's taken on a lot of flavor from the lamb as well. Lamb mince is full of flavor. So we are smelling good. Another kind of savior for midweek meals frozen peas, I love them. Super handy to have in the freezer. I've got a cup of those going in. They're only gonna take a minute or two to cook through. You could add any vegetable into this that you wanted to. Peas are just nice and easy. All right, easy as that. I'm gonna turn that off and just let that sit for a little minute. Now we need to zhuzh this up somehow. You know, we still wanna make this look like an impressive family meal. So I've got a cucumber that I'm just gonna slice with a peeler into ribbons. This is purely for show. You could just slice it up if you wanted, but I kinda of like these thin, fresh kind of strips through the biryani. Good job for the kids, get them onto this. All right, look at that, pile of cucumber ribbons. Some green chili. I like a bit of pep to my midweek dinners, but if you don't like chili, you could just leave it out. And no biryani is complete without some nuts. So I'm using some roasted cashews today. Of course, you could use pine nuts or almonds or any nuts laying around in your cupboard. Some coriander tops. Again, if you don't like coriander, you could use some parsley or some green shallots. And I've got some Greek yogurt. So for me, lamb and yogurt and cucumber is a really nice mixture. So I'm adding that in. We need to do now is plate up, round up the kids, get them inside and get this on the table. So what I like to do, of course you can serve it in the pan. I like to actually put it on a nice big platter. I'm gonna go on with a pile of our cucumber ribbons, some Greek yogurt. I love the kind of sour creaminess of Greek yogurt with this dish. Our crunchy cashews scattered over the top our green chilies. And if you like coriander, now is the time to pop it on. Add some real freshness to this. Biryani doesn't have a lot of color, so that's why I've used all these extra things on top. Crack of pepper. There you have it. I don't even think that took 20 minutes to get on the table. Stress-free, I have to have a little taste of this. It smells pretty good. Lamb mince, rice, spice, a little sultana. Perfect mixture. Really easy on the hip pocket, this recipe. Looks pretty impressive. I'm pretty sure the kids are gonna like it. 